Hello, welcome to my Minecraft Alpha survival mode tutorial. This is actually part three in a series of uh, how to survive your first night. If you haven't seen part one and part two, hello fella, um, I would recommend going to my channel, my YouTube channel, and downloading uh, part one and part two um, before moving on to this part. Anyway, in part three, I'm going to demonstrate um, the usefulness of armor, how to craft it, um, how to put it on, and of course how to harvest the materials we need to create the armor. Um, so let's get started. Again, since this is survival mode, um, we have a limited amount of daylight uh, with which to work um, and achieve these tasks of uh, making our lives easier at the night time. Um, so let's, uh, what we need to do is collect leather. So there are, are different types of materials that you can use to create armor. Um, and your armor pieces go here. We can create a helmet, a uh, chest plate, pants, and boots. So the first set of armor we're going to create because it's easiest to collect is uh, leather armor. And you get leather from cows. So I've already taken the liberty and collected four pieces of leather. Um, we can't craft armor in this crafting box. We are going to have to use the workbench. So let me go and collect a few more pieces. I want to create um, some pants because I feel awfully naked running around here without pants. So in order to make pants, I believe I need seven pieces. Um, so that's five. And in, in order to collect um, leather, you have to slaughter little black and white moo-moos. So let's go and find a couple more. Um, basically you want to use your sword which will kill them faster than punching them or using a uh, pickaxe or something. As they say, the right tool for the job. Now there were several cows here a minute ago. And they probably just saw their buddy go down and they ran for cover. So let me go find these cows, and while I do that, I will explain how armor works. Um, if you look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see uh, hearts, 10 red hearts. That means I am at full health, and as I take damage from various sources in the game, my hearts will be reduced. Um, fire can hurt me, um, creatures can hurt me. Uh, skeletons will shoot me with arrows, zombies will punch me, um, I can fall and take damage, um, and when I take damage my hearts will be reduced depending on the type of damage. Now armor will help reduce the damage to my hearts by absorbing some of that damage. So for instance if I fell and took normally without armor would take two damage. If I have armor on that damage to my hearts will be reduced by a specific number. Uh, I'm not sure of the actual numbers. I don't pay it that much attention to that. But um, I do know that when you have armor on, your damage is definitely reduced by a specific number. And I'm not having any luck with cows. They must have heard about this tutorial today. So... I think what I will do is instead of making pants because it's going to start to get dark here any minute um, because this is an alpha um, it's still in development and there are some bugs so it appears I have some kind of a spawning bug at the moment ah here we go chickens falling from the sky but I can't make armor from chickens Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that had to hurt Okay, so let's just make something else instead of the pants. I do need um, seven pieces of leather for pants, but I can use five to make some. Oh, 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 hey, there's a cow. Well, come on down here. I can get him. So I'll show you how we can climb straight up. Let's collect some more dirt. I'm going to go up there and get him. I really do want to show you the pants because it will each type of armor each piece um, 
will actually oops there we go so jump in place jump in place jump in place you know my eight-year-old is really good at this I'm not so good at it if you jump in place just right jump in place uh, I'm gonna make this jump or I can oh <laughs> that is just wrong hopefully I get some leather from this guy if not wasting my time. Ah, perfect. Two pieces. So now, as you can see, I did fall and I lost one heart. That'll actually help in this demonstration. Alright, so let's get building quickly because I'm running out of time. I'm going to put down my workbench, bring that up, and here's my seven pieces of uh, leather. Now to create um, an item, as I had mentioned in my first couple of parts, you sort of create the, the look, shape of the item you're trying to create. And those are pants. So seven pieces of leather around the outside, kind of like pants. And there are my pants. I'm going to take the pants out, put them here, press I to get out of the workbench, press I again so I can see my avatar, and you collect the pants and put them in the pants spot. And it even shows up on my guy. Um, so now, press I and go back to the world screen. If you look down on the bottom, you'll see um, little shirts. Now the white shirts shows me how much armor I have, my, the strength of my armor, and if I fill all of these slots um, I will get a full shirt. It'll be All ten will be filled as white. Um, now leather armor isn't the best so it will degrade quickly um, and I will show you how quickly or what happens to armor when you take some damage. So right now I'm down a little bit of health and I'm going to just jump and take a little falling damage and you'll see that my falling damage will be reduced because I have armor on. So let's just jump and fall. So my I lost a half a shirt and I lost a, um, a little bit of health. Now, if I had not had the armor on, I would have lost more health. So as you can see, armor certainly does help. It doesn't make you invincible, but it's going to help. And now that I've fallen and my armor has taken a little bit of damage, it actually has a health bar, just like tools normally do as well when you use tools up. And this will be reduced slowly um, over time as it gets worn. I can't repair it. I just have to build um, more armor. I'll leave the rest of the uh, armor types to you to, do, to discover, but you basically use this crafting. You can put leather in here, you can create other types of armor as well, um, such as iron, and uh, even there's even more materials out there um, for higher quality stuff. And again, I'll leave that to you to uh, figure out on your own rather than spoil it for you. So there you have it, that's armor. Um, I showed you how to uh, collect the resource how to create the armor, how to put it on, and what it can do for you. So I hope that helps. And it's just in time because now the sun is going down and uh, it's time for me to get back into my safe haven. Of course, I have no idea where it is at this point after chasing cows, so I'm just going to have to go and build a new little home. Well, once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.